Why do we, why do we sell so cheap? <laughs> Just live psychological and intellectual. Come on, I was made a certain way to live a certain way and Christ brought me back to that and I ain't selling cheap. One of my biggest prayers with tears is, Lord, don't let me miss one drop of grace available through Jesus Christ to transform my life. Because we look at anatomy, human anatomy, we look at the male and the female, we look at psychological patterns, emotional patterns, and we say that's the way we are. No, that's the way we became through the fall. We're studying a fallen man, and it's not our created identity and value. It's not our redemption through Christ. From, from testosterone to sexual desire to all kinds of stuff, we say this is the way it is. That's wrong. That's deception. That's the way it became. We're looking at a man born in Adam, assessing him and identifying our lives. But now we're in Christ. We have a problem now. We're in Christ. This is too spiritual or hypo-spiritual or way out in outer space somewhere. No, there is redemption through Christ Jesus. My body can come into alignment and agreement. Come on, you can sell yourself short and you can say, I'm just not any younger, you know. Well, I'm getting older. You can talk yourself in to aging and pain and breakdown and degeneration because you accept it. Because there's a way that seems right. Because it's everybody's experience, it's going to be mine. And you sell out and you buy in. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> Look, you can do it. It's your privilege. I'm saying don't do that. to just waiting to go to heaven and trying to be pretty good here and do what we know is not right or what's right and not do what's not right and one day we'll all be with him and we've, that's why we've sold out and reduced it to go into, just going to heaven because we don't see ourselves through redemption we see ourselves through the flesh my Bible tells me in 2 Corinthians to never again judge any man according to the flesh. You, you, I get things in the mail that tell me what I have to experience now because of the age group I'm in. You're mailing it to the wrong guy. I promise you, you're mailing it to the wrong guy. My Bible says eat any deadly thing, it won't harm you. That doesn't mean I find it's deadly and go eat it and test and tempt God. That means I never live in fear because the Spirit of God is upon me. That means if I eat something in ignorance, if I'm in 2011 and there's preservatives and I'm not aware of the long-term effects because they don't even have the knowledge and we've been eating it for 20 years, why do I freak out and fall apart when I read an article and let that natural knowledge eat my lunch when the Spirit of God, through His Word, tells me who I am? by natural knowledge and man's experience and then we try to incorporate God into that for help and we have all the help we're ever gonna need <laughs> are you hearing me? Oh, you better be hearing me, I'm yelling but if you're not hearing me we gotta pray for your ears but I mean are you hearing me? come on the average Christian mindset can read the new finding article this preservative causes cancer and you go, oh my god 99% of cancer is found to come from this. And, you're, and now your attention's had. You have to read the article. 
See, I wouldn't even have to read the article, and I'm not comparing me to you. What I'm saying is, we have to read the article because we're not sure, settled, and established, and that thing has a voice. You can tell me all day who I am and who I'm not, but I have the choice to listen to who I'm going to listen to. I know who I am and who I'm not, so you can't change that now. You're too late. Way too late. I'm telling you, when I turned 40, I got stuff in the mail. You are now over 40. I'm like, whoa. 40? What is 40 in the kingdom? They're saying 40 in the world. I'm in the world and not of it. That is not a spiritual cliche, a religious cliche that we say on Sunday and clap to and don't believe on Monday. I'm in the world and not of it. I've been sanctified out of the darkness into the light, partook of his divine nature, escaped the world that's corrupt through lust. I am a man of God in the spirit. same definition is that haughty presumptuous high-minded proud it's the word of god i humbly wear that i don't walk with a sandwich sign i'm untouchable invincible i'm not like you i just live this thing with a pure heart i accept this it's called the finished work of christ I can honestly tell you that it's possible to live without an ounce, a speck, a jump of fear for the rest of your life in Christ. I'm either in denial, deceived, and need ministry and somebody to jerk me out of deception right now. Or the gospel's taught me how to never fear again. And I believe time will prove me right that, that I, I don't even know how to fear anymore. Because my eye sees so different than I used to. When you don't see for yourself, you can't fear. Anymore.